The closure of Kinzu operations in mid-May will put 148 people out of work and leave almost 250 people without a town. Workers have been promised priority hiring at the company's mills in Hepner, about 60 miles northeast. A new $4.5 million sawmill is under construction there. Company officials say it should create 10 to 15 new jobs. But many Kinzu workers will have to wait for an opening or look elsewhere for work. The closure's impact will also be felt in Fossil, a small town 13 miles west of Kinzu. About 30 Fossil residents are dependent on the mill for their livelihood, and all of Kinzu's children attend Fossil schools. Wheeler County Commissioner Dave Sitton runs a service station in Fossil and says business and property taxes will be affected by the closure of the county's only industry. The commissioners worked hard to keep Kinzu open, but to no avail. We talked with them, had different meetings with them, trying to figure out different ways that we could uh, keep, their, keep their business there. But economically and uh, for them, it just didn't seem feasible for them to stay there. So Kinzu will join nearby ghost town neighbors as the mill closes and the town slowly fades away. But the tight-knit community spirit will live on in residents, residents like Iris Morley, who's called Kinzu home for 28 years. It'll probably be home. This will be, even if they tear everything down, and there'll be nothing here but just, uh, you know, just the ground. If we ever come back to visit, it'll still seem like home. It's home. <laughs> I've raised here most of my life, and never really been much of other place. All my friends are here, and I know the country. You get to thinking about leaving and that, and starting all over. It's you get kind of sad feelings about leaving. Oh, I'm anxious to leave. Yeah? Yeah. Because there's nothing here anymore. I mean, there's the town here, but it was the people that made it, you know. And things have just changed. I don't know. Everything's changed. A 50-year way of life will end with Kinzu. Life in one of the last company towns will be the subject of our next report. This is Bill Bradbury reporting from Kinzu, Oregon.